They are returning items to their natural homes and to a nation that is very attached to its cultural heritage. They help in the fight against criminal and terrorist networks because they prevent the latter from taking advantage of these precious items to raise funds. Hobby Lobby's expert advised them to be careful about acquiring Iraqi cultural property because hundreds of thousands of objects had been looted from Iraqi archaeological sites. She warned them that cuneiform tablets and cylinder seals were particularly popular on the market and likely to have been looted. The story should have ended there, but it did not. Instead, Hobby Lobby went ahead and bought the artifacts for approximately $1.6 million. You know, early on, we were always uh, trying to find the best uh, experts we could to help us uh, as, as we were acquiring a antiquities. It's a new world for us, and so uh, as mistakes are made, we learn from those mistakes and uh, uh, put processes and procedures in place to try to improve on that. <laughs>